Hey guys, I'm just continuing straight on from the previous video. So, so far we've found the equations for bending moment and their respective limits. We now need to find the maximum bending moment, which we've also done. So we found the maximum bending moment is 1.6p and see which case we're in. So we have, and we're going to be dealing with four different cases. So let's deal with number one first. So number one, so we're dealing with p equaling 25 kilonewtons. So if p equals 25 kilonewtons, the maximum moment we're going to be experiencing on our beam, so m max, will equal 1.6p. So 1.6 outside of 25. If we solve that, we get 40 kilonewton meters. So we now need to determine where that moment is lying in which range in respect to our elastic and plastic limits. So we found that our elastic limit was 50 and our plastic limit was 75. So 40 kilonewton meters is less than 50, which means that our M max is less than the MEL. And what that means is that if the maximum moment our beam is experiencing is less than the elastic minute, limit, it means that our beam is still elastic. Okay, so we haven't reached any plastic deformation, it's all elastic. So it's very easy then to find the bending moment and curvature diagram. The bending moment diagram is just simply going to be 1.6p at the top there. So the bending moment diagram is going to be 1.6p of 40 kilonewton meters. So that's the bending moment diagram. And because we're in the elastic range, we're allowed to use the formula m equals ei kappa. And as you can see, EI is a constant, E and I are both constants, which means, and because M is linear and linear, it means kappa is also going to be linear and linear. So we're going to solve for kappa, which will equal M on EI. So we're going to find the maximum kappa. So K max, the maximum kappa, will equal the maximum moment, which is 40 kilonewton meters, on top of the elastic modulus. We know the elastic modulus is 200,000 MPa, which is in Newton millimeters. This is the